Now, in working with tens of thousands of leaders over the last 20 years, I found the more crucial the conversation, the less likely people are to handle it well. But this does not have to be. Now, there's an art and a science to having effective conversations and to provide effective and helpful correction that's well received. Okay, now the temptation will be to not address challenging conversations that, that really we need to have. And the temptation will be to shy away from them or bury them under a rug. But the problem is feelings buried alive will never die. Now, sometimes we just need to check ourselves and we don't need to make a big thing and have a big communication over somewhere. We just need to check ourselves. But if we really need to have a conversation with somebody else, and if we're not willing to have that, what ends up happening, the result becomes artificial harmony or fake harmony. Hugs in the hallway and knives in the back behind closed door. And it plays out like this. Hi, Amber. Oh my goodness. So good to see you. Hope you're having a great day. Oh yeah, you're the best. And then behind closed doors, that Amber is so lame, so annoying. And these are like termites that destroy a team culture. And the sad thing is, this is super common in organizations. But I found in the highest performing teams, there's less of it. And team members are willing and skilled to have hard or fierce conversations with each other to just flush out the drama and focus on the result. Now, I wanna share the most valuable skill that I've found to help address the needed hard conversations that need to be had from time to time. And I call this skill set being soft like a brick. The soft part is the person that, that, you're, that you're having the conflict with. They, they need to know that you genuinely care about them and that you care about the result. The brick is being willing and skilled to have the needed hard conversation and then to have them land in a way that doesn't destroy your relationship or the productivity that's needed between you and that, that person. Now let me share seven tips to be soft like a brick. And just a heads up, this comes from a leadership perspective. Also, each of these ideas can be applied beyond work. You'll see that. It can be applied in your home. It can be applied in, in your communities. And, and, and so the first idea to be soft like a brick is clear is kind. And I love what the actress Lillian Gish said. She said, I like it when people come back and tell me what I did wrong. It's the kindest thing they can do for me. Now there's a way of doing this the right way because not everyone on your team is Lillian Gish who's seeking <laughs> constructive feedback and wants to hear it to improve. All right, second idea, to be soft like a brick. You get what you tolerate. For example, if you tolerate people as a leader, you tolerate people showing up late to meetings, you'll get more people late to meetings. If you tolerate dishonesty, you'll get more people being dishonest. If you tolerate gossip in your department, in your team, in, in, your, in the, your part of the organization, you'll get more gossip. If you tolerate drama, you'll stir up and get more drama. Now, I challenge you to be careful what you tolerate. If you tolerate jerks hanging around you, you're gonna, you're gonna attract more jerks. And people who aren't jerks will go somewhere else. Listen, the fastest way to undermine the good people is to tolerate the bad ones. Third, you wanna give people a name to live up to. It's like what the ancient philosopher Gertu said. He says, if you treat a man as he is, he'll stay as he is. But if you treat him as if he were what he could and ought to be, he will become what he could and ought to become. Fourth idea to be soft like a brick. You wanna catch people doing things right. You wanna catch people doing things right on a regular basis, look for the things that they're doing right and call them out, point them out. And then from time to time, when somebody's not doing something right, call them out on that as well, but they won't feel like you only target them when they're doing something wrong. So you wanna catch people doing things right. Fifth, don't be selfish. To be soft like a brick, you wanna hold people accountable and have the needed hard conversations when necessary. Now here's where I'm talking about not being selfish. If you don't make corrections, when corrections are necessary, if you don't have those, those necessary conversations, the, the candid conversations, the fierce conversations, where you're soft like a brick, if the brick needs to come out and it doesn't, you're being selfish. Now you might be thinking like, what, that's bold, like selfish, what are you talking about? Let's take a closer look at what's really happening. The question is, why would we not give correction when it's needed? Well, oftentimes maybe it's because we're worried about how that person's gonna take it, and we don't wanna be the bad guy. We don't want them to blame us for pointing out something that they need to improve on, so we shy away from the confrontation. And we're being selfish, we're making it more about 
us and we're more concerned about how the other person feels about us or about them blaming us for pointing out their deficiency. More worried about that than we are about the result that we're trying to achieve as a team. And, and so we're being selfish when we need to have a crucial conversation and we're not willing to do it because we're afraid. Okay, the sixth idea, to be soft like a brick, is you wanna reteach early with clarity. First, ask yourself, have I been clear on what is expected from this person? I'm about to have a fierce conversation, or am I gonna blindside them? Do, have I done a good job teeing up the expectation? If you have not been clear, don't go straight into that hard conversation. Instead, revert to, to go back and be like, okay, how can I clarify expectations? How can I teach them what's needed? How can I share with them the expectation? How can I share how what they're doing is impacting me? Start with a conversation before going straight into bulldozing and, and having the brick come out. Do they know what's expected that they're not living up to? Just maybe check yourself on that first. Okay, the seventh. It's an ancient Hindi word called genshai. Now, genshai means to never treat another person in a manner that would make them feel small. And that includes yourself. What's our way of being towards them? What's our way of seeing them? Do we see them as a person? Maybe we're seeing them as a person and we need to have that conversation because it's tough love to help them get with any great. But when you see them as a person and you're just trying to be helpful to them to help develop them, those, that's where oftentimes those conversations go right and that's where soft like a brick, they know you care so that when the brick comes out, they, they'll be able to take that from you and the result, instead of being resentment and frustration with you, They'll, they'll be motivated and inspired by you. And so that's way of seeing them, but also the way of serving them. Are, are we serving them in this conversation with a heart at war, jabbing them? They're gonna feel it. Or, or are we serving them? Is this, is this candid conversation literally gonna, is, is with a heart at peace where you genuinely wanna be helpful as to the result? Because you wanna make sure your correction is motivated by an intent to be helpful rather than to gratify your own you know, pride. And if you do nothing else, they need to know that you have their best interest at heart. And as you do, that conversation will, will, will go better. So you wanna get skilled at having fierce conversations that result in greater clarity and connection, and you'll see results compound around you. If you don't engage in the needed conversations, artificial harmony will, will, will be, you'll have to fumigate the, the, the house. You'll have to put a tent over the house because the termites will destroy it. Don't let the termites destroy your house. Be willing to engage in the needed conversations when you have them, be respectful, be firm. Let me give you five ideas, five power phrases to be soft like a brick when it's time to, to engage in the conversation. And I challenge you to memorize these. First one, I'm sorry if there's a miscommunication. It wasn't my intention. Let me be more clear. Powerful, simple phrase. Just acknowledging that you might have made a mistake in the way that you communicated, and let me be more clear, and then you go for it. The second, and these are magic words to disarm resistance when, when giving constructive feedback. Listen, I could be wrong, I often am. Now this is where you wanna be tentative, not wimpy. Being tentative means avoiding absolutes. You always do this, you never do this. And avoid coming, coming across that you're right all the time, that they're wrong. Being tentative, is disarming. It opens a dialogue that feels less like an accusation or an absolute and more of a potential way to improve. Okay, third, the golden question. This is magic. Do I have your permission to challenge you? Now, use this tool if you need to have a challenging conversation with a little bit of tough love. Now listen, if they know that you care about them, when you ask the golden question, they'll probably tell you to go ahead and then once they do, they've now given you permission and their guard comes down a bit to be more receptive to what you're gonna to say to them. This is a highly effective question before offering someone critical feedback or correction, and that's why it's called the golden question. Okay, the fourth power phrase, I commit to not underlead you. Now I'm trying to do my best to serve you and I commit to not underlead you. And then you go into your conversation. I mean, that's the spirit of soft like a brick. Soft, they know you care, brick, being willing and skilled to have that conversation. All right, fifth power phrase, I care about you too much to leave you where you're at. This is how you balance care with candor. Remember, pleasing people is not leading people. And I challenge you literally to memorize these five power phrases to help you be soft like a brick, to have effective, fierce conversations. Okay.